Oh, Why? Because he's so because he's so is cold. Because he's oh. very lazy and he just does whatever oh. he wants to do. Well, that'll do it. He's just got a mind of his sort own. Sort of like a lot of people, people in Hollywood. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Many people he would be out of jobs. Look, he's going he's, to Norman audience. is just in the audience hanging he with the ladies. Knows. He, he likes cool. women. He does. I love them. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> need to whisper. <laughs> so Tim and I saw the breakup last week. You did? And we loved it. And Good. we come out of it, though, and it kind of got us in a bit of a fight. Oh. Yeah. He, he was saying, he came out of it saying to me, you know, why do women always want to change their, their guy? Mm. Why do they think they can change the guy? They don't tell us this. Why not warn us before that you're planning on changing us before we get into the relationship? Yeah. Because the things that you love about the big lugs that, that to begin <laughs> with are the things that should drive you nuts. That's right. In the, the end, longer you in the end them, and, yeah. and vice versa, by the way. It's not just, you know. But I think, you know, bad habits get formed. and But the strong, silent type then becomes like somebody who never speaks to me. True. Right. You what? Know, you're right. The strong, right. silent yes. that you're attracted to. And then you say he never talks. Right. Well, that's, that's what you were attracted to. Yeah. The playful yeah. guy becomes someone who, like, only wants to hang out with his friends. Yeah. And right. wants to spend time with you. Right. Yeah. I get it. I yeah. play video games like Gary, you or know. play video games. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. games. So we're speaking, of course, Gary played by Vince Vaughn. Chemistry on screen is very, very nice. I have to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Chemistry is very good. Now, the two, the two characters are interesting. Your character wants a more giving relationship. His character wants to sort of like chill. Right. Norman's doing his thing. I <laughs> He's been all over the whole thing. Come here. Come here. Norman's doing his thing. Okay. Go okay. okay. down. What are you eating? It's a baby. It's just paper. Come here. Just sit. Come here. Sit. What? We have a food segment. Oh, there it is. Actually, He's doing fine. Okay. There we go. He's chilling. Okay. So now, what? I have this taxi cab theory. You tell me if this is right. Guys sometimes are like taxi cabs. When it says off duty, they're off. Yeah, they're off duty. And then you have to like click the light, and the moment the light comes on, all of a sudden now they're ready to be committed. Yeah. They're ready to do their thing. I mean, do they're you find that? that? Yeah, I mean, the taxi cab theory it makes sense to me. <laughs> That the light comes on really and goes funny. on. I've never heard that theory. Mm -hmm. I've heard it. We talk about it a lot of that. Of we yeah. talk about it here. <laughs> because some guys, just they're just not ready. And it seemed as if Gary just wasn't ready. Just wasn't the character, ready. not yeah, ready to he, do he, it. He kind of, she waited too long and he took yeah. too long. Yeah. Oh, what a good you know, way to put it. It's sort of sometimes those moments you just miss each other, mm -hmm. and unfortunately it's too late, and sometimes irreparable damage has taken place, and you know. It is. It's unfortunate, but then maybe that's a lesson you're supposed to learn from that person. But it's also mm -hmm. kind of the movies about how men and women communicate so differently. There's yeah. a scene that we're going to show you where you ask Gary Vince yeah. to come back with 12 lemons, yeah, very clear, and very he comes clear. back with three. Very clear. So let's very take a look. Clear. Why that happened? Why would you want 12 lemons? Because I'm making a 12 lemon centerpiece. So no one's actually even eating them. They're just they're show lemons. Yeah, they're just show lemons, shown in the center of the table. Glad you find that amusing, but I cannot fill a vase with only three lemons. Well, can't you just use, like, maybe a, a drinking glass? I could use a well, drinking... You can have a smaller uh, version of a centerpiece. I'm not going to use a drinking glass for our centerpiece. You know what? i got an idea. Why don't we go ahead and scratch the, the uh, centerpiece idea all together? Because the chicken that burnt my mouth could maybe use a little bit of lemon on top of it. Guess what? Now we made a better meal versus something visually nice to look at. Uh, <laughs> just what they want to hear. Why is that? I think it works both ways, yeah. though, I have to yeah. say. I, I don't think it's about guys are just young, dumb, you know, uh, young and dumb and women. And, I mean, although it's... It, it, but he has a not point. I'm going to say that doesn't happen once in a while. Seems in the movie, which I saw also, yeah. which was you were great in the film. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer's really uptight about her neatness and her yeah. stuff and the characters like that. So there's so a, he has a way. Yeah. And then yeah. she has a lot of her game playing, you know, and that's not necessarily the... They just, don't know how, they just don't know quite how to do it. Because guys anymore. always say we're in manipulation mode. Yeah, I say, you know, because guys right. are just there out there and say, like, look, put the lemon on the chicken, quit tripping. Exactly. Well, we, but it also, in this film, it's like, really, who is the alpha dog? Uh, Who's the dominant person? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> the alpha dog is your dog, actually. Yeah, I mean, your alpha dog is working this audience. Well, do you understand why he didn't get hired, why he does? He yes, didn't. we get it now. He didn't get told. He doesn't do what you tell him to do. He's, 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 he's got, got other things on his mind. He's you know, got people to meet. We're going to round right. him up because you're going to stick with us, right? Yeah. And then we'll get him. Talk more with Norman, learn more about you, Jennifer. Yeah. We're so happy you're here. I'm happy to be here. Jennifer Anderson is sticking around. That's good news. We'll be right back.
we're now singles. So there's not room for, for two singles on the team. Why oh, do you look confused? Hmm? I don't have any idea what's happening. I've, I've come to play in the team. Look, Gary, I, I just don't think it's a good idea for you and I to be around each other any more than we have to right now. I completely agree. Maybe you should go play some pinball. I'll help you do the damn dishes. Oh, come on. You know what? No. That's, see, that's not what I want. You just said that you want me to help you do the dishes. I want you to want to do the dishes. Why would I want to do dishes? Why? See, that's my whole point. <laughs> oh, gosh, there's so men and women. That it was a clip from the breakup, and we're back with Jennifer Aniston. All right, so, Jen, now you filmed the breakup in Chicago last summer. Since then, there have been rumors that you are moving everywhere from Los Angeles to Chicago to Australia, all over Scotland. the world. Scotland. Okay, I missed the Scotland one. So, um, are there plans for you to get out of L.A.? And move no somewhere? No question. Really? Yeah. Why don't you like it there? I don't. Why anymore. not? What's wrong with it? Because it's not, it's you just don't live any sort of a normal life if you're, in, I mean. Well, you're hounded, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's not real. It doesn't make sense. I used to love it. Trust me, I used to, it was my, it's my, my and my friends and everybody's there. But it's just no way to live. So. But you move back to you're all over the world now, don't they? Different. It's totally different. Uh -huh. It's, a, it's a different, it's something, an energy that's there. Uh, and it's sort of the, the, um, you know the center of all that mm -hmm. stuff. So yeah, but how about move back here to New York? I could. I would love it. New York is a great place.